Hi there everybody and welcome. George here from Softube and today's big announcement is braids coming to Modular. Mutable Instruments from France made a fabulous macro oscillator a while back and it was called Braids and it became an absolute hero of the Eurorack story due to the enormous amount of cool stuff they were able to cram into one fairly simple looking module. It's called a macro oscillator because although it kind of looks like an oscillator it's just so much more than that. It's hard to explain and fit into a video. So I'm just going to give you a quick walk through some of the basics and then send you on a voyage of discovery because I hope you'll be intrigued by this thing. Basically the thing is under every mode in this menu that you can cycle through here is a sophisticated fully realized digital synthesis algorithm. We like to talk about this thing as a kind of encyclopedia of synth techniques because lurking under the hood of every single one of these modes is a bunch of digital stuff, uh, oscillators, filters, VCAs, envelopes, and so on, creating a complete synth voice. And you can cycle through them, as I say, or you can modulate through them, and you can come up with pretty much any sound you could ever imagine. Uh, from this kind of saw thing, through this, this, all of these, uh, some vowel form and stuff, some percussion, physical synthesis, wavetables, noise generation, um, some particle and, and granular stuff, um, all the way to kind of strange telecoms stuff here at the end, old modem noises that, to be honest, I don't really understand very well. But that's the beauty of this module. There's so much to be excited about that you will find yourself coming back time and time again to find something new. So let's talk about how it works with uh, this super saw sound, for example. So that sounds like that. You can obviously patch note information into play the thing. Um, but you can also affect the tone of the sound in two different ways with these two different knobs. And each mode has a different kind of meta wiring involved with these two different knobs, timbre and color. So with each different mode, these knobs do slightly different things, but basically they tour you through the sweet spots of that particular synth engine. And they take a, uh, a, a bunch of different parameters, wire them up to the same knob and move you through those parameters to make all kinds of different cool sounds. So for example, on this super saw sound, the timbre knob changes the detuning between seven stacked saw waves. And on the right hand side here, a high pass filter cutoff frequency moves around. Whereas, let's take this, yes, three sine waves patch here. And what the timbre knob and the color knob do here is completely different. They change the frequency of the second and third oscillators in this patch. So we can do a slightly detuned stacked octaves thing and come up with a fairly nice, simple organ sound. Which is a great place to start from. So that's the kind of gist of this thing. You can take very quick control over the key parameters of any of these classic synth techniques. Let's take a look at this vowel synthesis thing. Uh, this is basically filter based. So under the hood, there are a bunch of different filters doing interesting things to make different vowel sounds. And of course you can make this stuff happen automatically. Let's send in a random source to modulate that. Pretty good fun, right? The color knob plays with formants. To give you a sort of more male or more female sounding vowel. And of course, as with any oscillator, you can play with the coarse and fine tuning. A lot of fun, a lot of power. What about percussion? Let's say you wanted to play a kind of 808 kick sound. That's right here. with control over the delay and the attack quality. 
or a snare sound perhaps with uh, additional noise with the color knob. That kind of thing. Then there's this very interesting symbol generation algorithm, which is also based on a kind of 808 style technique. As you can hear, it's a constant noise right now. It doesn't really sound like a symbol, but you can go diving into the setup menu of braids and unleash its even truer power, which is that there's all kinds of metaparameters lurking under the hood here. You can send an envelope to the VCA inside braids and use that to make an entire controllable synth patch. So let's change the decay time on that envelope a little bit. Give ourselves a, no, let's start with a short one. We'll have a short snappy hi-hat. Something like that perhaps. And if we wanted to work on a kind of crash symbol, we could bring the tail of that envelope out, maybe bring the pitch up a little bit. We got something coming. And that's all in the same module, which as you Euro rack freaks will know is pretty efficient when it comes to these kinds of things. Now there's all kinds of cool rabbit holes to go down in this setup menu. If you want to know more, I suggest you read the manual. It's a long and fascinating read. And uh, if you ever get lost in this menu, you just need to click on the screen and it will take you back to the mode selector. That's about the long and short of it. You can do all kinds of things. Like I say, you can do bowed strings. You can do blowpipes flutes. There's a really cool kind of car plus strong synthesis thing, pluck strings here. So play to your heart's content and enjoy yourself. The best way to get to grips with this thing is just to download the demo, give it a try in your modular system. And I don't think you're gonna regret it. It's endless fun. Check out the resources I've put in the description and find out more and go to softtube.com for the full skinny. Okay, we'll see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.